Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser and I I'm over here. And I'm James Workshop and I'm over here. And together we are Modeling for Advantage. So James, we've each got one of these beautiful boxes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so as we, as we crack these open, I mean, it tells them it's an unboxing video, yes, right? Yes, it does. We should do that. Unbox it. Well, 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 well pro, I've got a knife this time. Cheap yeah. one, mind. Four uh, I'm even pounds. pro, I just pre-prepared. You pre-prepared? Peel, peel that baby off. Mate, you look like you've rolled back plastic a few times <laughs> in your life. So, James, why why have we gone out and bought two of these? <laughs> Warlord Games, uh, Band of Brothers starter set. Slight disclaimer, I say two, yep. I didn't buy two, I bought one from my local gaming store. Certainly did. And I got a free one from Warlord when I said we're looking at starting mm -hmm. from the beginning. And so the one you've got or I've got was a demo copy from, from them. Yes, thank you. They're not, they're not sponsored in any no. way, <laughs> but they sent us a, sent us a free box as we're playing a game. Mm -hmm. So why, why are we doing this, James? So I want to get into bow action. Oh, that's um, a good idea. Yeah, I've been playing Flames of War for a little bit, and uh, it turns out I love Soviets very deeply. So because you love Soviets, you went for a US a German, and and German occupied Europe. Of yeah. course. Well, I wanted to start somewhere. This has um, everything in it that I need to start. It's got a rule book, it's got dice, it's got everything that I might want to start this game Are with. you spoiling the video now? Are you telling us? Oh, that's not what unboxings are about. So, um, shall I try and read what's on the back of the box? Go for wow. it. You've just opened this, it. I've just opened it. Yeah, this is this is poorly thought, thought through. It was a stiff bit of cardboard. Yes. And it's upside down. Look at that. So, according to this, mate, mm -hmm. we're going to get Bolt Action Second Ed Rulebook, 24 US Airborne, 12 Germans, all plastic, and SDK two, Z25110. Aust D, mm. the pack 36. That's a half track with a gun on it. It's by a half way. track with a gun on it, yeah. Modular Ruined Farmhouse, Quick Start Buckler, mm. loads of bits, pin markers, rules, allegedly everything you need. Ooh. Are you excited? So I'll never need anything else ever again. This is all I need. Well, except other armies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, models. That's the thing. Yeah. So you, you have a look, see what you say. So well, I've got the baby rule book. Baby rule book. Baby rule book. Oh, man. Oh. Can you smell those carcinogens? I certainly can. It's only the finest that China can do. Yeah, plasticated, plasticated books, mate. Okay. You can't beat it. Now, I'm going to check, because I think it is exactly... I'm led to understand it is precisely that rule book, but in small form. In small form. Mm -hmm. Which is way better for me. 228 pages in that one, uh -huh. and 228 pages in this one. Dead on. So... It is exactly that rule book. For yeah, those of I mean, us who don't need glasses, it's perfectly good. <laughs> Absolutely. Great, because the, the hardback rule book is like 20 quid. It's not, it's not cheap, so free one of them. Yeah, We've nice. We've got a uh, Band of Brothers Band rule book of, brothers. of some kind. <laughs> uh, oh, it's yeah. a quick start guide. So this is the quick start guide. So I think ah. we'll have a look at this in a bit more detail. Oh, play sheet on the in back. In a minute. Play sheet. And a second play sheet. And a second play sheet. Card. Which is a bit of card. Ooh. This is a more involved play sheet. It is. I think you have to cut that one out yourself. Oh mate, look! With rulers. It's got it's got like if you haven't oh. got a ruler, they provide one. In wood as well, that's the yeah, best. It's fake part. wood. It's fake for fake wood. It's only a ten inch, mate. Uh, it's enough. <laughs> if you're gonna make a fake ruler, you at least make it full size, man. <laughs> alright. But that, that could be alright. If you wanted to rad. laminate it or something. A, but it was around. also, to be fair, it was holding everything. It was neat and yeah, stopping yeah, yeah. it from moving around. If I'm finding these sets, the two things that cause the most damage mm -hmm. to sets before you open them up, plastic. Yep. One is overstuffing. That okay. is a real crime with this stuff. But the other is too much space in the box as well. Mm. But it, it's basically it moving around, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, which is something this box doesn't suffer from. That is a no, pretty jammed no, it's box. Pretty jammed box. And this was doing a really nice job of just holding mm. it down, I thought. So my favourite part of comparing Warlord kits, <laughs> who was yours packed by? I'm, I was packed by Morella. As was mine. Thank you, Morella. Well, we did, they, did, they did come out of Warlord Factory at similar sort of times, yeah, I'm guessing. I'd hope. Morella. Morella, thank you very much, Morella. Real hero. Do you reckon Morella, boy or girl? I have no idea. No, no. Don't want to guess. This is international world. Don't want to guess. Don't want to judge. <laughs> no. We don't mind. Morella, exactly. dude, woman, any, do. anywhere in between. All good. Thank you. Uh, next, we have a farmhouse. Oh. Ruined farmhouse. Now, John bought loads of these. Did he? Johnny, yeah. Classic. Yeah. So they're different sprues, aren't they, as well? They are. There's two different sprues. Um, and he's built them. And on, on the face of it, when you look at these, it's kind of like it's a cottage. Because you've got yeah. this end piece, mm -hmm. and it'll kind of build up a bit of a bit of a bombed-out cottage. Mm -hmm. But having looked at a little bit online and so forth, 
if you don't try and build it as a single coherent piece yeah. and you just use it as like ends of buildings you can it's quite an interesting modular it? kit yeah if you don't build it as a bombed out cottage right okay you can build it as quite a substantial bit of you know missing my first notice noticeable thing is that there isn't really any keying no. has to put the building together so i'm guessing these corner no. pieces are sort of required to yeah. i built a lot of buildings in my I life built a lot of buildings the you're first looking thing for I keys is, yeah no, these yeah. don't strap together which is probably helpful if you're trying to make a big modular building because that yes. key will just get in the way yeah i think there's a lot of different ways you can go with that mm -hmm. uh, there is a little bit of keying for the floors and for the chimney so i think if you use this end piece right. you're you're kind of committing oh, yeah, to I can see that little nub the there. floor in there somewhere you can see that little nub in the middle but yeah some of the some of the mold lines are on the are on the joint, so there might be mm. a bit of clean up and filing to That'll do be fine. if you want a nice clean. Which would be it, hidden by these corner pieces. In. Absolutely, like absolutely. Normally, yeah. Oh, these overlay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the overlay for corners. corners. They cover the gaps when oh, you get wrong. Oh, me! That is excellent design <laughs> for someone like me. I just want to get models on the table. Custom filler. Right. So we got we got we got one yep. of those each. What have we got next? We have got, we got next some sprues that I will have to work out who got are. Some sprues. These what? are Germans. That Hopefully. I have first. You got Germans first, yep. and you can tell the German because they say World War II German Grenadiers just above the heads. Oh, do can you tell that with that? Oh, I just look for the MG42. These are Germans. <laughs> German Grenadiers. <laughs> yeah, so this is a nice little sprue. I mean, this stuff has been reviewed all over the place, mm -hmm. I think. The thing to say about these, so this is exactly the same German Grenadier sprue you would get if you bought the German Grenadiers star set or box. Yep. What's the good things about it? Well, the first thing I would say is they've got the... The arms are molded together. 100%. The, the, the two arms and the rifle, mm -hmm. in most cases, is a single piece. Yep. I like the opportunities that having a few separate arms give, but mo but having to line up the arms and the rifle on 30 mm. guys, yeah. I'm less keen on. So you've yep. got some singles, haven't you? You've got some options, yep. some open hands. So that's two five-man sprees, so... Two? That's, that's ten Germans. Ten Germans. Is it? Is it ten? No! The six man sprues, mate. Are they? Yeah, one of them may be missing a leg, but he's still there. Six. Six. I couldn't see the runner. He's colorblind. He's running. Oh, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Not just okay. normal blind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And there's even an extra bit. That's them. So, so that's, that's, that's your 12 Germans. Mm -hmm. Should we that's carry on great. with the Germans in this beautiful baggie? Should carry on with the Germans, the rest of the German force in this beautiful baggie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that would be this vehicle, then, would it? It would be. So, right, what have we got here then? So this is, this is, these two sprues together are just the Hanamag. There's no guns here at all. Ah, but then there's this piece. Uh, is there a baby sprue? Oh, mine's is hidden under the base. Baby sprue. So I assume that this, any Hanamag kid starts yeah, like this. Which would make sense. And then this extra sprue was giving you the Pack 36 and the gunner. Mm -hmm. The late one version. So you can see on here you've got uh, this next one. He's, he's loading a shell or giving you an injection mm -hmm. that's designed for a horse. Yeah. <laughs> um, but again, with, with those arms. And you've got some bits of the site, the pack 36. Mm -hmm. But these things down the side replace the seats, I think. Uh, yeah, so yeah, like yeah, ammunition yeah. crates. So the standard something. sprue, I'll wang that out for you. It's got, wang it out, It's got sir. some men on it that are seated. All right. Now, again, th and it's important to remember that this is a starter kit. So why those, <laughs> those two, the single piece for the arms and rifle, really important, I think, Very for helpful. a beginner set. Mm -hmm. But also, this they, they do a few different half-track kits over the years, I think. Mm -hmm. But this one is very simple. Or the yeah. wheels, the running gear, the tracks, it all just slots onto the side of mm -hmm. that lower hole. Does it have a date on these, or are they older than that? Are they older than that? Oh, it's probably got There's a date no on date one on of them. these. Is there no date on no. any of it? It's a very thin, old Games Workshop type sprue. It's a little bit different from the new one. Yeah. That's that's surprising. Yeah. But I think it's one of the new... I think they started with some fairly complex kits from Italeri. Oh, yeah. And then they started to commission their own. Model making kits rather than wargaming kits. Rather than gaming yeah. pieces, yeah. So this... I mean, don't get me wrong. There's still, there's still 20 Lovely. pieces here, but there mm -hmm. aren't 50. Mm -hmm. You know, this is going to go together quickly. Uh, and with the, the wheels, again, sometimes if you get metal and resin kits mm. and you try and super glue on the wheels they all end up looking wonky <laughs> yeah. and crooked if they didn't start wonky because they <laughs> resin or metal <laughs> yeah exactly so you snap the spar off mm -hmm. that you're supposed to attach it to so big fan of that yeah 
that's interesting in bolt action then that vehicle i don't know whether you can take it as a transport i don't you mean you can it, take it as a transport you can have it as a transport yeah. option yeah. before even touching these kids obviously i've been on easy army just slamming army lists together and seeing what works but you can take them as a transport so you can take six to eight of them depending on the list nice with a light anti-tank gun on the roof with a light anti-tank gun and, on uh, the roof. capacity eight Capacity. Oh right, so you can't get a, you can't get a, a mm -hmm. full mucho big squad. In. No, 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 no. Right, but eight. Oh, eight's that, still good. <laughs> eight's still good. Yeah, there'll be some unit cards in here. Maybe there will we be can somewhere. have a look at those somewhere, perhaps. So what do you want next? So next we have the Americans. Americans. So Americans don't actually get a vehicle in this, do they? they? Don't, no, but they do have twice as many sprues. They do have twice which as many are sprues. All duplicates. It's four of the same sprue. So you got five five guys or oh, six. Six guys, of which one is kneeling. Oh, there's a prone guy, yeah. One is prone, mm -hmm. and there's at least one of these guys has got that come at me bra. <laughs> I, I don't, I never know what to do with that. You know, in a lot of kits, you get a model yeah. of a guy who's just kind of bent knee looking straight at you. <laughs> I like, think in this kit, you're intended to slap the machete on that guy. <laughs> he's the one with the mohawk. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's the real and he, and he, one. And he wants real, the real. written on the rim of the bit, it's mm -hmm. coming at you bra. So, these are 2016, so we're a little bit older than the 2016 Germans. sprue, yeah. So I think these have got the one arm and the weapon. Mm -hmm. So this is a bit more like GW does it, yeah. if you look at these. They've got, in many cases, it's one arm with the weapon. Mm -hmm. In some cases, it's both arms. But again, somewhere between those two, it gives you more modularity, mm -hmm. I think. But you've got a lot of Swedes yeah, on really, this, man, really. haven't you? Yeah, I got well, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve helmeted, mm. and three not helmeted. Two of which have fine mohawks, mate. Yeah, mohawks. And the other one's wearing his cap. That one's just wearing well, a field I, cap. What I like about this kit: all of their stuff's strapped together, rather than having oh! like ten different. Bits, oh, so like he's, he's got, got a bit he's, on he's his got his and another bit on his bread bread backpack. Yeah. Now, they're obviously, yeah. the models have been designed so that you can just strap a big old load of kit on their back. Yeah. I mean, these, Get on with they, it. and these are paratroopers, you know, they, yeah. they, they definitely do have their packs. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have issues with like soldiers going into battle with all of their, mm. well, their packs and gears on their models. Mm -hmm. Like they don't carry this with them. No. So, well, they, they do, do with their paratroopers. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Cause there's nowhere else to put it. Super sized pockets on my yeah. legs to take yes. more things with them. More and more stuff. <laughs> so we've got a 30 cal on here. Mm -hmm. We've got a machete. We've got a machete. Got I told you. Yeah. The guy That's the machete. nice. There's a BAR. There's a BAR, there's a shotgun. Uh, Tommy gun. Is that a shotgun or is it a carbine? Uh, it might be a carbine. carbine. Yeah, that's a carbine. Yeah. Got some they're, Thompsons. They're all M1 carbines. Uh, we've got another. Oh, no, that's just a Thompson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But none of them are. They're not drum fed Thompsons, though. No, they're not, as they should be. Drum fed be. is the coolest, right? There's a. Oh, I forgot what that's called. There's a different rifle in there as well, a different carbine. There's a, there's the Garand for, uh, mm -hmm. versus the carbine. And the carbine with the, the two arms. One of them's got two arms on it already, which is the carbine. And then the rest of them are Garands with no carbine. But between no. between arm strapped, this kit mm -hmm. there's a, there's a lot of action uh, optional action. Oh me! What's that? I'm looking across the bit. There's two knives, yeah, ammo pouches, a few different variants of it. And then before you get to the pistol and the grenades, <laughs> there's a carrier pigeon. pigeon. Let me see if I can get that on battle the pigeon. Oh, I doubt that'll work. Man, we're going to get a still of that, because that is Definitely. the best thing in this box so far. <laughs> there is battle a pigeon. battle pigeon. You've got to strap that. There's four of them in this box. <laughs> four of them when I'll, these kits are built. I'll have two, you can have four one, machetes. and I'll let John have one. Four carrier pigeons. Yeah. He's going to have that glued to a farmhouse before the next game of ball action is John. <laughs> he loves all of that kind of so stuff. So uh, 30 cals are a medium machine gun? 30 cals are... Light machine guns. Light machine guns. In the so you've got four light machine guns in the box. Four light machine guns, yeah. Well, I think that the way, because we play the smaller scale battles, mm -hmm. I'm likely to build this out as as, as like four or five, uh, five or six man squads. So it's worth thinking about the, the kind of other models you can ease, you can build with this mm. other than just your kind of mainline infantry. Maybe the guy in the field cap is useful. Well, they give you a base for one medium machine gun. They do a give you a gun, base for, for a, a medium machine gun, so you can build that up as a three-man mm. crew. But I was thinking about things like officers and artillery observers. Let's have a look so there's the a guy, there's a pair of binoculars, there's a mm. guy firing a coal. Um, 
Yeah, so you're gonna because you, you're gonna need that, aren't you? If you're gonna try and build your whole platoon yeah. just out of these sprues, because there are no sort of metal command figures mm -hmm. in here. And I get that as a design decision. This is about saying, yeah. you know, this is the. I think they're showcasing the best of their kits mm. in here within a theme. Mm -hmm. And like part of the great thing about this being six man sprues rather than five man sprues is that you can build an officer and a mate. Yeah. You can have a lieutenant for me and a lieutenant, um, yeah, lieutenant for you, yeah. and and we can have them that way. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So we're getting nearer the bottom of the we box are. now. We are. Let's have a look. What else we got in here? So you you've got the dice there. I've got the I've dice. got I've got the dice there. If you have never played bolt action before, one of the things that you you well, I suppose you saying you need it is maybe a bit strong, but um, me that's a bit I'm a bit confused by that. Yeah, they've got different orders on them, that's how I understand it. No, 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 it's the colours. It's the colours, sir. Are yours all the same? No, I've got five green and five brown. I've got five whatever green. colour this is. And some grey ones for the Germans. And some grey ones for so the Germans. They're not, yeah, they're not the same colour. They're blue. They're blue, blue-grey. They're blue, yeah, like a sea, like a sea blue. So I wouldn't have necessarily assigned these colours necessarily to these particular armies. Is there any reason boxes saying again? that? Morella. Morella did. Morella. She gave us different ones. You, we both got different dice. I'm 100% sure that what I got in my pack was correct. <laughs> <laughs> and if you've got green ones over there, then my Soviets have got dice going already, and I'm yeah. really happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> so, However... <laughs> but you get two different colours of dice, but the way that the game is, the way the game is played, if you've not played before, mm -hmm. is for each unit that you have in the game, you plop an order dice into a bag, mm -hmm. and it's got a random activation sequence, so that the... You then put it on the table showing the correct it's, order. That's grey dice uh, on the box, the man. It's, it's yeah, I, th I think it's grey and brown. That's uh, fine. Grey and green is what we should have. But, but anyway, fine. They, look, they, they do the job. Yeah, they do. Uh, I'm not sure about these, though. Yeah, they're, they're not these the best the dice I've ever seen. These are the world's tiniest D6s. They might be useful for wounds. They might be useful for so wounds. So you don't pick them up and clean up you like you don't have the normal dice. Game. No. <laughs> <laughs> you could conceivably have a casualty on a multi bait, you know, like on a MMG. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. If you sculpted all three together. Yeah. But, you know, they do the job. The I'd dice. rather they included terrible dice than they didn't include dice. It's in. true. It, you know, this. If there's a criticism of this set, and it's not a reason to criticise it, <laughs> is, um, and why I didn't buy one until really you started, you said you want a new player joining mm. the game, is because you already have all of the things that are in the box. Mm -hmm. yeah, you you do, know, there's yeah. a lot of like this kind of stuff, and if you've not played ball action before, you definitely need that stuff. Yeah, 100%. But if you have, do you want, you don't, you don't want like four or five copies of this if you <laughs> no. collect paratroopers, because mm -hmm. a lot of the value is tied up in the assets for yeah, playing the, the game, yeah. but it's very important that it does include all of those. Mm -hmm. Right down to the cardboard ruler, you can play out of this box. So, what have you got next? I'm going to grab the markers for a rule in the game oh, I'm not fully clear on. Oh, yeah. Markers. So they, woo, these big shiny red things. So the really critical mechanic for the way bolt action is played mm -hmm. is about the sort of morale more to reflect suppression and loss of motivation and 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 will to act mm -hmm. it has a system of pins yep and units acquire multiple pins now the way these work and you won't see this in our games there's a these, these actually plug in there a dial oh they're wheels yeah they're little dials yeah so that so the big explody thing turns around on there and mm -hmm. you can just track the number of pins that a unit has mm. If you're at home playing with your mate, that's absolutely fine. But on camera, there's no way you would ever see yeah. the numbers on the. So we just have loads of these in our game and just pile them up. Well, it... I'm sat here with it in my hand, yeah. and you had to tell me the numbers were there. And you to <laughs> yeah, it. yeah. So you won't but they see definitely them from are the there, and, and I've seen people people paint them, and dry brush it, and yeah, come just, up nicely, just, yeah. just dry brush it, yeah. But it's again, it's a really nice feature that they include this in the mm, set, definitely, because the pin mechanic is critical for the game. Mm -hmm. And what have you got here? You've got almost as many pin markers as the provided uh, units. 12. So that's that's good. Mm. Yeah. Really good. Got bases. I don't think we need to talk about bases. We do, do we, talk about them well, a little bit because this is nothing like talk? I've ever seen yeah. before from the base. It's a very flat. I think they've tried to do the the classic tuppence style but on a base. Yeah, so, so it's very um, flat. Do I have are they I think they are one inch bases, yeah, they're 25 mil bases. Mm. But but recently, so I think originally they used Renedra bases, mm. and I don't know whether Renedra still make their bases, yeah. but the new Warlord bases have got these little lips in them, mm -hmm. which 
I like. Okay. I don't know how you feel about them. Um, I haven't put any together yeah, yet. I'll tell you. <laughs> well, one of the problems I have with basing metal miniatures mm. is a metal miniature is mounted on a metal base. Yeah. And the great thing about these dimpled bases mm. is that when you put your ground material on, he's not stood on a little mound because he's in recess. It's a little bit recessed. Yeah, so that makes just sense. A li so it makes it much less pronounced mm. and these days a lot of us are using you know we're not just putting a bit of sand and pva painting the base green we're using some kind of textured material <laughs> don't judge me no <laughs> <laughs> you don't do I that don't anymore know. <laughs> and, you know if, you're, if you know if you're not going to do that then mm -hmm. this base isn't going to work no. for you but it also um with a lot of those um, textured basing materials, you often get like little bits like on the side of, go over the side of it and then mm -hmm. you just scratch it off and then repaint it or whatever. But again, the little lip helps that. Definitely. So it just tends to be nice and neat and clean. I really like these bases. It's such a minor change as well. And it, oh it, yeah, but it's, it's one of them quality of life things though, isn't it? Yep. So those are your bases. Then we've got the yeah, 16 so all round ish for the, this for the machine is, gun how they tend to base their crude weapons. This is usually for three-man crew, so for mortar, yep. medium machine gun. Again, some people like to model them all individually, and you do lose individual men mm. from that base. But I take any multi-basing opportunity I can get to mm. have a little bit. I think it really helps lift a battlefield having a few diorama pieces. I agree. And, but and also we'll it stops units blending together mm. as m movement becomes an issue. So that is definitely part of that unit because <laughs> it's on a separate base. Yeah, that's that. Okay, what's up next? And I think we're down to the dregs at the moment. So we've down got... Down to the dregs. Well, no, it's not dregs at all. It's quite important. We've got the uh, blast markers... Yes. ...and a collection of dog tags. And a blast marker and a collection of dog tags. Okay, so blast marker, quite clever. It's got your one, two, three, and four inch blast templates. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I first got this, I was looking at it, I was like, no way is that inner circle only one inch smaller than that other one. Because <laughs> that's not an inch thick. No, well, it's half inch each It's size. a half inch thick, and it took me a while to figure that <laughs> right. out. It was just like, the, the one and the two, again, it's a half inch circle, mm -hmm. which means it's an inch. But it's it's just a handy little tool. That's excellent. And yeah, again, like you, don't, you don't need it, mm. but it really helps just being able to overlay these things mm -hmm. on the table. Now, the dog tags... Again, um, we tend not to use these on camera mm -hmm. because they look like a million dog tags, but they actually are all status effects in the okay. game. So, for example, you see these two down here near the circle. Mm -hmm. Therefore, if you've had a turret jam. Okay, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, There's a variety of different things on there. There's a variety yeah. of different yeah, things as well as pins, so. tracked, mm -hmm. um, and so forth. Yeah, and, and a lot of them were alternative pin markers before they did this. Right, okay. I think this sprue's older than that red thing. Or just an alternative. So it's nice to include, and I would definitely use them. The, re the only reason I don't in on camera is because you just wouldn't see what was printed on them. No, no. From no, the distance of the camera. Yeah, there's only one of them that looks different, which is this dog tag with a bit clipped out. Yeah. Um, and I forget what that is. Right, <laughs> that's that. Nearly at the bottom. So we've got, from me, we've got the... Um, KFZ251, the Hanamag stickers. Nice little uh, decal sheet. Water slide transfers, yeah. Yeah, it, right down to the number plates, though. Oh, that's good. Now, every German Hanamag you ever have is going to have the same number plate. Oh, have you? It, yeah. And it is, but it's actually got numbers plain, painted on it as well. So, does it say, yeah. It's not... 2012, that's an older one. It doesn't look like it's got unit markings. So it's not like you're kind of committed to... This is often with decal sheets, it's mm. like, it's telling you to put them on, but what you're doing is you're saying, this is a Panzer Lair, mm -hmm. or this is a, you know, SS Totenkopf, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. These are all pretty generic. There, there is an SS number plate as well. There is Specifically, a, yeah. There's an SS number plate. There's a one and an SS one. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's also a, a, a weight slide decal, but let's not pick them up on that. They've only had eight years to correct the spelling. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that is tiny words. It does not say water slide decal. It does say weight slide decal. <laughs> Love me a decal sheet, on, especially on camouflage military vehicles. Pop. Yeah, it, it. it gives you some kind of point mm -hmm. of interest. Right, then a few bits of paper. Then the paper is what we're down to. So we've got uh, German grenadiers, instructions, including yep. plenty of ways that you can put them together. That's pretty rad. Yeah. Um, now, I especially love that man who's got four Panzerfausts. <laughs> is there a four Panzerfausts? <laughs> right in the middle there. Down here. 
We'll get, we'll get a, a close up of Oh, he's just all tucked into his belt. Yeah, he's got like me under his arm, for it, bro. Like a bundle of Panzerfaust. Really yeah. need to take down that KV. Let's just throw four at it. That's how it works, isn't it? That, well, they did that with grenades. I think they called them <laughs> Panzer knackers as well. <laughs> they did, yeah. Which is uh, cool. Yeah, just, so you, obviously you've got those, those ways to do it. They, they do do this, and, and if you're new at this, this might be a little bit overwhelming. The other side of this sheet, mm. it does tell you literally what everything is. I love that. That's excellent. Because I, I don't but, know what a lot of this is. I know the weapons, but, but, but I don't know. But whether you like... know what um, a head covered in style helm means, mm. or arms with GUA 43, mm -hmm. body in M99 uniform, if you're brand new to this, that might be a little bit difficult. Uh, for you, but it is telling you literally what every single item is, mm -hmm. and the reason that's sometimes important, uh, particularly with the arms, if there are multi-part arms, because of the way they design sprues these days, they're not necessarily next to each other on the sprue. Mm. Don't assume because you've got a left arm here and a right arm opposite that they actually go together. Mm -hmm. Check the numbers on the sheet. I fell foul of that one of the Russian kits, and I never clip anything off the sprue with these kits. Until I'm using it, <laughs> I'm sure I'll have a little pile of bits. Sat on one oh, side yeah, when I'm finding out what doesn't those, work. You don't believe in instructions, though, really, do you, James? Um, yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I follow them absolutely to the key for the first five models I build, and then like, oh, right. I get and this. then the rest of it. I understand now. I, th I think once you understand the sprue, that's that's, yeah. that's fine. Animated um, instructions I've got next. You've got animated then, instructions uh, next. Yeah, airborne instructions. I mean, you can tell how simple a kit it is. Mm -hmm. These are right here instructions. Like, oh, <laughs> this goes here. Boo, that goes there. And that probably isn't quite right. But it's a very simple looking kit. I put another one of theirs together, which was a bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. um, but this this looks. A gem. Super simple. Super yeah. simple. Yeah, absolutely. And then the uh, Band of Brothers US Airborne instructions, Still which are quite different from there. the German one. <gasps> oh, but I've got something that you haven't. What have you got? Oh, I've got, got that one. On a German one? Oh, no, not on the German one. No. That's the paratrooper you're holding. This is the paratrooper. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. The Ger yeah sorry. I was meaning yeah. your army doesn't have yeah, one. Yeah, so I've got... I've got some models and how to build them. <laughs> Frankly, <laughs> yeah. it's probably more important to me right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you've got how to set the... Or, uh, an example unit. Of six, yeah, which is interesting. Yeah, six men. Da, 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 da. I mean, it is it is what you would expect it to be. All right, so we, we're just going to have a quick look at the booklet that comes with it and decide what it is we're going to do precisely with mm -hmm. this set. I think. So at the beginning, it just starts with uh, well, some 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 patter about the U.S. Airborne. I yeah, think. quite a lot of patter about the U.S. Airborne. Yeah, and a little bit about the Panzer Grenadiers. I think this came out. What sort of Band of Brothers TV series? Which is good. I like. It does the TV seem to series. be called Band of Brothers. It does. <laughs> I think there is a connection. There's a connection <laughs> here. Yeah. I don't know whether late war paratroopers are in the main role block because well, they've repeated the um, in the, the, the yeah. unit card there. Yeah. And it's just making me think now. Is that because they're not in here? Anti tank grenades for two points a man. Right. Considering yeah. you have no anti-tank in your army and I have a small tank, that might be a useful take. Might have to take anti-tank grenades. <laughs> yeah, so in the main book you just got a generic entry for Rangers, Airborne, Marines or Veteran Infantry. Okay. Just one listing. So they're giving gotcha. you a special mm -hmm. unit sheet for late war paratroopers, which is good. Nice bit of picture, mm -hmm. getting, you, getting you into that thing, as you say. Yep. German Panzer Grenadiers. What's in the box? which we've just shown you, but there it is, painted and beautiful. Painted and beautiful, mate. Absolutely. Oh. So what do you reckon? Are you going to be painting this uh, Zeltborn, all this camouflage pattern on yeah, these yeah. Germans? Yeah, that's what my plan is. Yeah? Yeah. Planning ahead, bought myself some paints. I'll give what it a go, paints? then I'll re-undercoat it when it works out I can't do it. Fingernails, eyeballs, yeah. going to do the lot. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's a <laughs> no. terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> what I, I can see from like the distance I am from you. <laughs> That's what I'm looking if for. If I paint the eyes on the model, you can see it from the other side of the room. Every man has one good eye, and I mean one really good eye, mm -hmm. can see in the dark a lot. And so then... <laughs> Assembling your forces. <laughs> okay. Assembling the forces. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I mean, I think it's good it gives you this kind of stuff. It shows you that this is how you might want to look to build mm -hmm. the things. If you're aiming it at beginners, it's not just showcasing the models, because you already bought them, right? Yes. That's not what this is for. This is to give you an indication of mm -hmm. how you might want to do it. Yeah. And I think that that's good. But it's what we're looking for here and what I'm after really is a box for 
you've never touched this game in your life, mm. this is exactly what you need to do. Yeah. If I, I opened this box and I built these units exactly as was made in this box, and I'd be happy with it. Like That's what they're expecting me to do. Yeah. I won't. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> yeah. I play a lot of games. But yeah. Yeah, no, and actually, actually this. Th this this is literally, I thought it was just showcasing, but it is telling you how you should build them as squads, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. So you the Germans who build an HQ of two guys with um, assault rifles, then two five-man squads. Mm -hmm. And the Americans build the 30 cal, two ten-man squads. These are some complicated units, though. Even I can tell that. Because they've got a real mixture of weapons. Place. Yeah, we might, we might not build them exactly as described mm. in here. Because mm -hmm. we... we not not for gamey reason, but for simplicity reasons. Like yeah. These squads have all got right. SMGs, or they've all got rifles, or they all they just do. Otherwise, you have to think about different ranges mm -hmm. and stuff. And then, of course, you got your spotty camouflaged Han Hannah Mag. That's what I'll be after. Ah, oh, me. This is classic hey, battle report ooh, for Look battle. Do you know what this reminds me of? This kind of you don't you don't tend to see this. No. In, in in this kind of literature anymore because they tend to try and make it all look quite beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I think was it the battle for McCrag, the old forty K yeah. set? I think that had a a uh, mm. this play your first game yeah, um, laid out when you've only got the things in the box. Like third edition Space Wolves had a battle report in it. Like the Codex had Did a battle it? report in it. And the battle report for every white dwarf, I'm I'm an old school games workshop guy. So like every magazine would have something like this in it. With with a, with a totally flat lime green. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the models exactly are really that. nice, the house is really nice, uh -huh. the rest of it is a bowling green. Well, I mean, at the time it's it would have been repainted. Yeah, they've had some orc huts in the middle of the table, and then <laughs> later in the White Dwarf, there'd be a how to build orc hut ah! instructional. That's, that's yeah. excellent stuff. Anyway, there's things that you will also need, most of which are included in some way in the box. Yep, yep. Uh, except the tape measure will be a stretch. It would be. <laughs> You got that? No, we play. don't have a mug, but there's two people playing it. Absolutely. So that's, and, uh, and then it just takes you through how to play through which the is what turn, we're after. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Doing Including assaults. Weapons profiles when it's relevant to do so. All sorts. It tells you everything. Errata on the final page. Yeah. Interesting on page 15 there. And I wasn't aware of this errata, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, well, all of the erratas are one line, so yep. there's not a huge amount. No, and they're probably not that old. Although awesome. Sherman was 134 points for a veteran at one point, which was a bit good. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, rather than 234. Yeah, that's quite the change, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, interesting. Erratas. And then play and, sheet. And play sheet on the back. So what we're going to do with this then, James? Uh, I'm going to build some Germans. You're going to build some Germans? Uh, you're going to build some Americans. America! Um, and then we'll, we'll fight them. Yeah, we'll fight them. We will. We'll fight them. We'll fight them and I won't have any anti tank equipment. <laughs> except the machine. Got grenades. Gun. Anti tank grenades. Anti tank grenades. Yeah, and I'll have a tank. <laughs> which <laughs> will have a small blast of some kind because it's a hand It's we'll a light anti tank. One, so it's a yeah. one inch blast. Probably a one inch blast. Oh, yeah. Down they go. <laughs> Mate, and th but then after that, we're gonna we're gonna escalate the games. Definitely. Because yeah. James is definitely brand new in this. Yeah. All right. That was our look at the bolt action. What was it called? Band of Brothers. Brothers. Was a TV series? Band of Brothers. It was a great TV series. Oh no, sorry. It was a TV series, which some people thought was great. I enjoyed it. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah, good. As a, as if you a... don't care about the war, fantastic. If you want to watch a movie, not yeah. a documentary, then oh, yeah, 100%. absolutely. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah, that was that. Thank you for watching. Record. You happy? Yeah. Excellent. I mean, it, it's, it's me. There's no getting away from that. <laughs> got a bit of a... Uh, did you see the? You won't have seen it because it was in a in another box. The Flames of War people doing aliens. Oh, hey! And they've got because, the miniatures. Um, and John was really excited, but.